Hello everybody, my name is Suyash, you are watching Mind, Body, Spirit. Welcome to another episode of the Law of Attraction Success Stories series. The series in which I share with you real life inspiring Law of Attraction Success Stories in the hope that if you watch one video, at least one video of this series every day, doing this will have a huge impact on your happiness level, cheerfulness level, your belief and faith on the Law of Attraction and ultimately the results and the success that you get with the law of attraction and the speed with which you get it. So today I've got for you two super inspiring real life law of attraction success stories, which I absolutely love. And why I love them is because they are not just inspirational. They are inspirational. They are motivating. They will fire you up, but also they teach us something about how to go about apply the law of attraction and how to manifest things fast. I highly recommend you to watch this very important video till the end and let's get started. Now, this first story has been sent by Steph and she has sent it to me on Instagram and I have named the story improve your life by improving your thoughts and Steph writes, hi Suyash, thank you for the amazing channel. Here is my success story. I was a happy kid, always cheerful and having fun. But when I grew up around the age of 16, I started having emotional issues, as in I would get really impatient with people, sometimes get very angry and be irritated most of the time. Around that time, my life started collapsing. My social life suffered as I had fights with most of my friends. My grades also went down. From being a straight A student, I actually flunked a few classes. This went on for about two years. Then the counselor at school told me about the law of attraction. She made me sit with her for two hours, three consecutive days and told me about her own experiences with the law of attraction. At that time, I hated her for this. I thought it was just a waste of my time. I treated it like a detention. My parents are into meditation and yoga. So I sort of leaned towards what she said, but I was too preoccupied with myself to pay much attention to it. Then one day, I felt as if I had had enough. I could not take the loneliness anymore. I could not take the humiliation of being a bad student anymore. I decided to fix my life, but I did not know how. Then I remembered law of attraction. I remembered how, when the counsellor had told me about it, I had sort of related to it, but had not paid attention to it. So I did some research on the internet and got to know more about it. And I decided to apply it. First intention that I tried it on was for reconnecting with my best friend with whom I had had a fight a year back. It was a stupid ego based fight. So I sent this message into the universe that I and Jen are best friends again. So Jen is her best friend and she sent this message into the universe that I and Jen are best friends again. Whenever I missed her, I imagined that I am calling her on phone or just going to her house and hanging out with her. I never let myself get too deep into the regret feeling that I wish I had not fought with her. I just imagined that it was all okay. About two weeks of doing this, I bumped into her at a cafe. I saw her from a distance and my heart started racing. I wanted to go meet her, but I was nervous. Then she looked towards me and spontaneously I smiled. Then she too smiled back at me and it was as if in that moment, the distance between us had disappeared. She came to me, we talked for a few minutes, we hugged and then just like that, it was as if we had never fought. This was four years back and we are still best friends forever. Wonderful. And then Steph continues. The second success story was with my grades. My confidence in the law of attraction had increased because of my success with Jen and a few more random things that I manifested, such as receiving a pen that I wanted as a gift, manifesting free food, etc. So I knew for sure that now my grades were going to improve. It's an important line. She's writing, so I knew for sure that now my grades were going to improve. 
I made a mock result sheet and saved it as a wallpaper of my computer. So whenever I was studying, from time to time I would automatically see it. Doing this so often made it really feel real. I remember one time a friend of my mom asked me if my grades are out. Till then the exams had not even taken place but I spontaneously told her that yes, I got A in most of the subjects. I was sort of distracted by something and I said it and came back to my room. Then I realized what I had done. The mock result was so real in my mind that if I was not careful, that is what my mind would send out instead of reality and she has written reality in quotes. So she was so used to that mock result that she used to see on her computer that talking to her mom's friend, she just, she was distracted. She spontaneously told her the mock result performance in her exams. And when she came back to the room, she realized, hey, what did I tell her? And then she continues, the exam went well and I was confident that I will get good grades. But when the grades came, it was miraculous. You see, when I had made the mock mark sheet, I had thought it would be too much to ask if I gave myself all A's. So in two classes, I gave myself B's. The actual result was exactly the same. I got A's in all classes except two in which I got B's. Now I wish I had just put A's in all. Ha ha. Ha ha. She has written it. Anyway, even with two B's, it was a huge improvement over my previous year's performance and I was so grateful. My parents were so happy. Then next year, I manifested all A's. And since then, I have manifested at least 100 things. I wish I had found your channel earlier and I would have written all my manifestations. I will keep sending you my success stories regularly. Keep doing the awesome job with your channel, Suyash. Thanks. Well, thank you so much, Steph, for this super inspiring story. There are so many things that I absolutely love about this story and I would just spend a couple of minutes talking about them. Uh, the first thing that Steph did absolutely wonderful was that every time she started to miss her best friend, Jen, what she did was she just imagined that everything was okay. She closed her eyes and visualized that she's calling her up or she's visiting her at her place. She has written that she did not let herself go so deep into this regret that why did I, you know, fight with her? Why was there so much ego between us? Why did all this happen? She just ignored all of that. She focused on what she wanted. The other thing that I absolutely love about this story is when her friend's mom asked her about her results results of the exams that had not even taken place she spontaneously it was not a part of her law of attraction practice she spontaneously told her that you know i have got a's in most of the subjects because that was her mock result and so what that means is that that idea of what you are trying to manifest instead of what is what you are trying to manifest has been so deeply embedded in your mind that your mind starts thinking that it is real. Now, I personally have had these experiences so many times that I am so focused on what I want that sometimes when somebody asks me the spontaneous response that my mind sends out is of that, what I want. And the reality is sort of, you know, I have to remember and I have to be careful that I don't, you know, tell them the intended version. I tell them the reality only for now. But when this happens and when you have to be careful that you don't blurt out what you're trying to manifest, that means that your mind has absolutely recognized that intention as reality. And when that happens, nothing can stop that from manifesting, you know. And so what she did was she put that on her wallpaper and she looked at it. So, of course, you put anything on your wallpaper, you'll naturally look at it 50, 60 times, right? And when that happens, if you can just think about it, if you can focus on it, dwell on it a little bit, maybe a few times a day when you look at it, just close your eyes and imagine what it would feel like to get that result or to get that intention. And when you do that and when you consistently do that, the same thing will happen with you because it has happened with Steph, it has happened with me, so it will definitely happen with you that your mind will start to sort of forget the reality and your intended reality will start to get so deeply embedded within your mind that then, you know, nothing can, nothing, absolutely nothing can stop that from manifesting. And of course, Steph, if you're watching this, 100 manifestations, I too wish you had written all of them down. I too wish you had found my channel earlier. But now that you've found it, 
please write all your further manifestations do share them with me i would love to include them in these videos and before we move to the next story any of you that would like to send your success stories to be featured in these videos either comment them down below on the comment section or you can follow me on facebook or instagram and you can send them to me as a direct message or you can email them to me all of these links to my profiles and my email address will be in the description down below so check that out and now let's move on to the second story the contributor has asked me to keep her anonymous but she herself has named this story let's go intention shopping and she has written after coming to know about the law of attraction through your youtube channel i decided to try it so first of all i absolutely love it because through my youtube channel a few people are there that are actually realizing and coming to know about the law of attraction that is a matter of huge honor for me thank you so much for that after coming to know about the law of attraction through your youtube channel i decided to try it but i could not decide on what intention to apply it on then i got it one day i was out shopping with my mom and dad and i was roaming around the mall by myself and saw a jacket i really liked it it was for 10000 rupees though which was really expensive so i did not tell my parents that i wanted to buy it i asked the sales person if there was any possibility of any discount he said it is impossible as it is of a brand which only sells premium exclusive stuff and never gives any kind of discount so i was a little sad but then i remembered law of attraction and i thought that this is the perfect opportunity for me to try it so i saw all your videos one by one and that gave me a lot of knowledge and inspiration again thank you i started doing everything that you have suggested writing visualization gratitude etc i imagined myself wearing that jacket and getting compliments from my friends i also did a fun visualization i imagined that i have posted a photo in which i am wearing that jacket on facebook and everyone is liking the photo and asking me where i got it from like i tried to make the visualization as real like as possible i wanted to get the jacket for rupees 5000 but i felt that was too much and i proceeded with the intention that i am getting it for rupees 7000 and that i am able to buy it easily so this was her intention that i am getting that jacket for rupees 7000 and i am able to buy it easily so after this nothing happened for about a month i got busy with my life and sort of forgot about it then one day a friend called me and asked me if i'd like to go shopping with her i wasn't in the mood really but my friend really wanted to go so i said yes and went to the same mall where i had gone earlier She wanted to go to the exact same shop also. So I thought, what's going on? Why am I being led there? When I reached there, there it was, the jacket I wanted. I went there and met the same sales guy. He did not recognize me but said, "Ma'am, this is usually for 10,000. Only for today it is being sold for 5,000." I was like, "What?" I freaked out right there. I could not believe it. The salesperson shared my shock as he too said, "It's the first time he has seen that brand offer a discount." So then and there, I bought the jacket and came home feeling so happy and thankful. I think subconsciously I wanted it to come down to rupees five thousand only, so the universe gave me that. so that the other part of my intention that i am buying it easily can also come true perfectly i am so grateful suyash i watch your success story series videos every day and i have tears of joy and gratitude when you reach the part where someone has manifested what they wanted i hope i can give someone else the same joy and hope thank you what a beautiful story especially this end you know she watches these success stories every day and she actually has tears of joy and gratitude when someone else actually manifests something and you know that is the amount of gratitude that we can develop if we practice it consistently as i have been saying in all my videos so i'm not going to repeat it but when we start feeling grateful 
I'm sorry about that. When we start feeling grateful, sometimes we are not able to feel that gratitude, isn't it? But then when we keep practicing, gratitude becomes like second nature to us. And look, this is a beautiful person that is watching these success story videos and feeling so grateful that she actually gets tears in her eyes when she hears that that person has manifested what they wanted. And now another thing that I absolutely love about both of these stories is that when we are applying the law of attraction, sometimes we limit ourselves. You know, she said that, no, no, 5,000 would be too much. Okay, let it come down to only 7,000, then also it's fine, right? Then in the earlier story, Steph also what she did was, okay, asking for all A's would be too much. So why not just, you know, A's on all subjects? I'll say B in two subjects, right? When we are applying the law of attraction, yes, we have to take care that our intention should be believable to us, but also we should see that we should not limit ourselves based on our past experiences. You know, we should let ourselves dream to the full extent and just ask with confidence. And so that's all for this video. Do share it with your friends and family that are also applying the law of attraction. Today's recommended videos will be in the i button. Do like this video. If you liked it, any comments or feedback, please use the comment section down below. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon to be notified about my new videos. As usual, an absolute pleasure to talk to you in this video and I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow. Bye-bye.